So here I am once again in Radhika's kitchen. We're with Radical Kitchen because she's one of our favorite Kama chefs. And I'm over here to tell you, Radhika, that at some point in the history of the world, every single food has been considered an aphrodisiac, even the potato. The humble potato, the, the aloo, the aphrodisiac. Aloo. And you've noticed that I've got a little mombati over here, I've got a yes. candle over here. Ah. That's because it is the potato's birthday today. Seriously? Seriously. <laughs> potato didn't start off by being in Europe. It actually arrived in Europe on the 28th of July, 1587 for the very first time. Wow. So today is the, the potato's birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. <laughs> <laughs> I would have never thought that we would be celebrating a potato's birthday. So let me tell you why the potato is considered an aphrodisiac. When it first arrives in Great Britain, there's a lot of poverty over here. Hmm. The potato is cheap, it's nutritious. Hmm. People who are very poor are now able to eat in a healthy way and suddenly the population explodes. The potato arrives, people start having more children, hence this was the aphrodisiac. Mm. And you won't believe this, but this was actually Henry VIII's favorite aphrodisiac. Seriously? Seriously. Henry VIII. Henry VIII. Yeah. He thought that this would actually help him to have a son. Well, those poor people can have so many sons, he can have sons Amazing. with... Fascinating. Yeah. Well, this is how. And it became such a big thing, this idea of the potato being an aphrodisiac, that the church declared this an unchristian food. Unchristian food because? Because there are people having so much sex. I mean, clearly, if they're having children, they're having sex. So, Alu created a hangama. There was. <laughs> So much so that in one of the Shakespeare plays, um, it's a play called The Merry Wives of Windsor, and there's a character called Falstaff who at one point thinks that he's going to have sex with two women. And he actually says, let the skies rain more potatoes. So, yeah, it was the potato. This is what we've been missing this from our sex life. <laughs> so now it's time for a potato fest. It's time for a potato fest. <laughs>